What's up guys? Welcome back to SPL Society. Today we're going to be working on putting the bank together, making a case for it, putting it in the truck, seeing where it sits so I can mount the amp rack. So first thing I'm going to do is break down the cells and then configure our bus bars so that we can make a 12 volt bank. I'm going to go ahead and break these down and then we'll assemble it back and then I'll start charging the cells up. Let's go ahead and get to it. Finally got the bank all together, resting at 13.1, 13.16. I didn't tell you guys before, but I had bought some blue wrap. Uh, I put it on the positive side because this is a side that's going to face out and I'll have a window so you can see the cells. And I didn't like the red, I kind of liked the blue scheme. So got some heat wrap, put some heat wrap on there and then assembled the bank. So you can see this is positive, it goes through the cell, negative. And this is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So there's four cells in series. Each one of them are 3.3 volts roughly. So that gives you about 13.2, 13.4, whatever it is. And then there's 20 banks. So that's 80 cells, 20 banks, four cells in series. You take the amp hour, which is 8 amp hour, times 20 banks, that's 160 amp hours. So I'll be running this on two 7.5s, two DB drive 7.5s. I'll have two 320 amp alternators charging this. 
hopefully the voltage holds well. Really the only way to find out is to charge the bank up and put it in the truck and hook up the amps and test it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this charger I have. I'm gonna put this power supply on the bank and I'll set the power supply at 14.8 volts and it'll give 10 amps to the bank and slowly charge it. So go ahead and put that on. All right guys, got the bank assembled, got it on the charger. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this HDPE. I'm gonna be making a case for it. So the idea is my case will be seven inches wide, be five and three quarter inches tall, and then I'll have a window in the front so you can see all the cells. So let's get to cutting.